when I had a shop in uh, the arcade in, in German Street, I was opposite a chap uh, by the name of Conway. And uh, it must be 15 years older than me. And I'm, I'm sure he's, he's passed by now because he was certainly over 80 when, when, when I knew him. And uh, he would just sit reading his newspaper in a very small unit in Princess Arcade and selling basically nothing else but braces and a few odd shirts and that sort of thing. But, you know, he's my neighbour. We get into conversation. And in every conversation, his answer was always, well, do you know, uh, I started this, and he claimed to have started absolutely everything on Savile Row, uh, uh, white collars on shirts, and uh, yeah, every, everything he, he started. But um, going through vintage stuff that I have here, you, you might not uh, be aware of this name, but got to be sort of my age, really. I, I see a lot of stuff that was made by him or his, his company, and it is quite innovative, uh, different stuff. So, uh, yeah, maybe he was a little bit right. This is a needle cord jacket with uh, Norfolk type uh, straps just here. Nice little pocket details with uh, little vents on, on the pocket. And this is the guy. Conway of German Street. Uh, you will find... I have vintage shirts with uh, Conway brand with uh, like round collars and uh, uh, round collars with buttons which he claimed to uh, be the first one. And I think uh, there might be some truth in it. He might have been one of the most innovative uh, guys around when when Carnaby Street and German Street sort of met head on and there was a bit of uh, both trying to uh, get that sort of same super fashionable uh, market. This is actually a, a, a suit. And it's, uh, it's in my storeroom. I think it's about a size 40, so it's going to be for sale. It's in really super condition, probably made in the late 60s. So, uh, yeah, just uh, a very interesting bit of kit. Yeah, very stylish now.